Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, Betty is teaching me a new recipe. If you love meatloaf, you're going to love some meatloaf burgers. So we have got ground beef. Now don't worry about the amount of what's in here because I'm going to uh, write it all out. Scroll down under the video in the description box. Oats. Barbecue sauce, a little bit of ketchup, bell pepper chopped up, onion chopped up, celery chopped up, eggs, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, little bit of garlic powder and that's it. So we're going to mix it all together. Whatever you put in your meat, that's what you're doing. And then we've got a little skillet coming up with a little bit of olive oil in here. And that's what we're going to fry our patties, burger patties in. And then we're basically going to slap it on some bread, put some lettuce, tomato, and some ketchup. You can put a slice of onion if you want to. And there you have it, meatloaf burgers. You want enough oats and you know the eggs helps it hold together. I could have cut the oats in it. Yeah, a cup of oats is in there. And that's what we're going to keep on doing. Just if we can only get four burgers in there at once. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I use a leaner ground beef because I don't want it all to cook up. You know what I'm talking about? That's why I had that a little bit of olive in there because it didn't put out mm -hmm. my grease. I like the 85-15, it's usually what I get. Sometimes 80-20, but I still find that it cooks up real bad. Sometimes 90-10, whatever I get on sale. Heck, if you don't want to use ground beef, you can do ground turkey or chicken. The last time I made these and said I had these on Facebook for dinner, y'all wanted me to film them. So, I'm just now getting around to them. Time for us to have them again. Of course, if you don't want burgers, you can form this into a meatloaf. Put you some uh, ketchup or barbecue sauce on top. Barbecue, uh, ketchup or barbecue sauce on top. And throw it in the oven. Mm. You will cook to your burgers all the way cooked through. And yes, we smash. <laughs> Not a burger if you don't smash. <laughs> If you don't like us smashing, or like how my house looks, then the channel's not for you. Yeah. 
Smells all good already. Uh huh. <laughs> Sometimes they do that. Look how good that looks. Does that look good? Looks good to me. So when it's printed, we can just throw it on there and show them. get me a new tripod for my phone so it's me holding it this time so I'm gonna be bouncing around And it, some people use crackers in there of their meatloaf. Whatever floats your boat. If you don't like oats, use crackers. Some people use um, bread crumbs. A little bit more olive oil. Yeah, I ain't putting no grease at all. Uh huh. Good and golden brown, what's this? Oops, I'm talking up the camera. <laughs> there, give you a good picture. Before I fog it back up. I know this is very boring staring on the but I want to show you when it goes on the on the bread. You said just show me the whole thing, so here you go. Mm -hmm. 
that one's done. Put it right there on some bread. Put you some ketchup on. Put your top bun, uh, slice of bread on there. You can use buns, but we do old school. I grew up having hamburgers with just on sandwich bread. So you do your thing. So that's what we're eating tonight. See you in the next episode of Sip It There. Try these burgers and let me tell, let me know what you think of. Think of them.